Well, this is going to be very interesting. I don't exactly know how we're going to do this because there are 53 currently on the battlefield. We are obviously not going to have that many. Certainly not that many, but we're going to try our best. Hello reformers and welcome back to Freeman Season 5. Now when we left off we were roaming around the countryside attempting to eliminate as many bandit parties as we can get our hands on, you know, leveling up our forces and obviously attempting to get as much money as possible as well. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try and persuade, well that's not going to work, propaganda worked a little bit better there but they both did not want to join. So there you go. We're just going to release both of them. It doesn't really matter after all. And uh, we are going to go into our party screen right here. I'm just going to put the bandit in here for now. And a couple of people did actually level up. So we are going to do that. Now what I did do is I have given Anna a flak vest. I actually bought this at the nearby marketplace and uh, hopefully that's going to do well enough for her and hopefully protect her a little bit. And otherwise, we are right in front of these bandits here. They do have two prisoners, which is kind of kind of good, I guess, because that means that we should be able to rescue them. And uh, that's going to be pretty good. Now, I am thinking that we're probably going to lay siege very, very soon to something. So, for example, this city over here. I, I, I know what you're thinking. There's a bunch of bandit leaders there. But there's not actually that many. There's only 16, and I think we should be able to do that. So let's see if we're actually just able to, first off, eliminate this bandit party, try and level up a couple of more of our units, and then we'll see where we go from there. Try and get as many people in here as possible as well, of course. And they're just going to come in from over here. So let's see. Hmm, okay. Well, uh, that's uh, that's not great, is it? Okay, well, we're just going to move them in a similar pattern to normal. We're just going to move them a little bit spread out right there. And we're just going to deploy them like so. All right, so let's see how we do. Now, obviously, I do, once again, have my pistol. And, well, that's kind of weird. Isn't that kind of weird that it reloads like that? Uh, we have 10. Okay, that's a, that's a bit weird. Okay, well, never mind. I can just add this right there, and that's not really a big deal. Okay. So, otherwise, I have changed around things a little bit. So what we're going to do is, when we can, I'm going to try and buy a uh, an MG of some kind, like a light machine gun or, uh, you know, something kind of a bit heavy duty. And we're going to be a little bit more of a juggernaut style build in this season. So we're going to run around with a shotgun and a silenced pistol because obviously, you know, every juggernaut needs a silenced pistol, right? Yeah, obviously, it doesn't really matter to me at the moment. Personally, I feel like the silenced pistol is just decent enough for potential stealth missions if we're actually going to go on any of those. So yeah, we're going to need to move Anna's group and the other groups around here as well because otherwise we are going to have one group just be completely outnumbered and that is not going to be very good. So let's see if I'm actually able to maybe do something here. Oh, hello. There they are. I see. Okay, grenades. Don't exactly know whether that's going to hit anyone. It did. It actually hit three people. Wow, that was that was actually really nice. That's 1,200 experience just from that. Actually, kind of surprised I was actually able to hit anyone there. Yeah, I'm going to throw another grenade, I think. We might get lucky. Wow. Okay, that was kind of scary, wasn't it? They just literally charged our position right there. Thankfully, our units were ready to defend me. <laughs> yes. Okay, so let's, uh, let's take our people over here. We're going to do a bit of a flanking maneuver. Oh, hello. Oh, you're dead. There you go. I should really get out my shotgun, shouldn't I? I mean, shotgun, even though it's supposed to be a close-range weapon, it's pretty decent from mid-range. Oh, this is not mid-range. No, this is very far away. It's not going to work. And that might be something for us if we were to get a uh, light machine gun might actually make sense considering it might work a little bit better at longer ranges than a shotgun would oh 
Oh, there you go. See? That was pretty good. It seems like the reload animation for the shotgun is not exactly working well at the moment, but that's all right. I don't mind so much about that when I'm able to use it to blow people away. It's very nice. I am actually being killed here. There we go. Okay. So we can now tell our people just to advance here. Don't really need to worry too much about survivability any further. There we is. There we go. Nice. Okay, so, uh, yeah, that was actually pretty easy in comparison to what I thought it was going to be, but uh, nice. All right, so we do get an SMG here. We might be able to use that SMG from close range. There's also a uh, another pistol here, which might be kind of good for us. I don't exactly know, but we'll see. There's a little bit of money there, some pants. We'll just take... Well, as much as we want, really. Uh, don't really have any... Oh, I, I can't actually take anything else. Okay, well, that was good enough then, I guess. Okay, so we can obviously take these two. We're going to try and persuade them to join us. There we go. And we'll just, you know, imprison the rest of them. And that's actually pretty cool. Being able to take that many prisoners, that's pretty awesome. Okay, so let's actually just take a quick look here. I only have four spaces in our army right now, which is kind of annoying. But, oh well, never mind. Let's add a couple more people here. Alright, so should we go for Spec Ops or Machine Gunners? I don't really know at the moment. Well, whatever the case, any higher levels are certainly going to make a big, big difference to us. And I think I actually do have a quest to train Freedom Snipers. Yes, I do. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to level these guys up into Freedom Snipers. And then we're going to be making our way over here. And, uh, oh, the, oh, that guy has a couple of prisoners, but he, there's only three of them. I don't really want to enter into a battle just to attack three people. I think that's not great. So let's just do our standard persuading measures. Get those guys to join us. And we now have a maximum of 32, so I might have to level up our leadership a little bit more. And it seems like we need a new squad, don't we? Ah, uh, okay. Don't exactly know what to call this one. Hmm. Ah, uh, yes. Hmm. I have no idea. I'm very good at naming things. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I, I, you know what? I'm just going to think about it for a little bit, and we'll see what I'm going to name it a little bit later on. But for now, what I would like to do is see what we can do by going over here and uh, maybe seeing if we can actually launch some kind of attack against this town because I think this is basically the only thing we're going to get our hands on in the early game. So let's see if that's actually going to be good to do. And I'm just going to sell this stuff. I do have some night vision goggles, by the way. I did actually buy some of that, so that's pretty good. And otherwise, I can sell the rest. I bought. A, I also bought a Cobra Sight as well, because I think that could be pretty useful for us. And we'll just sell the rest. There we go. And is there anything else here that I really want to sell? Yeah, there is a couple of pieces. A tent. Some boots, I guess. Yeah, but otherwise, there's not really anything. And, uh, yeah, I should probably buy some additional ammo for our shotgun. Do we need additional ammo for the shotgun? I guess. Let me actually just take a quick look here and see if there's anything that I could really use, like a... Is there a light machine gun here? Yes, there is, but this is very, very expensive in every single way. It, it requires marksmanship 10, and also uses 50 cal rounds, as you can see right there, 118 per one. So very expensive. Is there anything else here? Well, obviously the Scar is a fantastic weapon. Mm, it doesn't seem like there's anything else here for me right now. So that is that. There we go. Alright, so I'm good. Let's move on. Let's move on to the Brotherhood's 
town here. I did actually level up, of course, so it might make sense for me to go for an additional point in leadership, an additional point in commanding. And then we're just going to level up our shotgun skill, I guess. It's kind of weird. My shotgun skill has not increased once from me using it. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that. Maybe there's some weird thing preventing it from giving me proficiency or anything, but there's a huge amount of bandit parties around here, which is a bit worrying. But let's try and see if we can get past here. Uh, I don't really want to get attacked by any of these guys here. It seems like... Seems like I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. Get out of there. Alright, so I do actually have another point to spend, which I neglected to do. So I guess I'll just spec into marksmanship, because that's always going to be useful. Alright, wow. There's a huge amount of very, very powerful units over here. There's also a general attempting to lay siege to it. I guess that's exactly what was going on there. And, uh, sh shall, we, shall we attack it? Shall we attack? I guess. Let's try it. Well, this is going to be very interesting. I don't exactly know how we're going to do this, because there are 53 currently on the battlefield. We are obviously not going to have that many. Certainly not that many, but we're going to try our best. And let's see what happens. Now, usually my line offense is pretty decent, and I think we might do something similar to that here. But let's actually just take a quick look and see what the environment is actually like. Hmm. I think, you know what? I think this might actually be better to go over in this direction and then come over here, because this seems to be a bit of an elevation. It seems a little bit of an elevation, at least. And I think that could be very, very useful to us. So I think that's what we're going to do. Unfortunately, we're going to need to watch out quite a bit for grenades. Because the bandit leaders, I think, do still come with grenade launchers. I'm not sure if that's been changed. So I'm going to hope that this is a good enough spread to prevent them from doing massive damage to our forces. We'll see. Oh, they're, they're shooting them already? Oh, that's not good. Okay, well, ah. Uh, is it good? Maybe it's good? I, I don't exactly know, but I'm gonna just take a little bit more grenades this time around. And we're gonna see if maybe I need them. There's only 29 of us against 52 of the enemy. Very surprised that we encountered them already. Yeah, look at that. There's actually a couple of them over here. Oh yes, this is our first siege, isn't it? With the new improved urban warfare AI. Oh dear. I'm a bit worried now. Hello, there's a person over there taking a bit of cover. Yep, there's one right around there. Okay, let's see if I can take him out. Wow, that was a bandit leader. That was pretty difficult to do. Oh, they are taking cover. They are definitely taking cover. Oh, I'm a bit worried about being shot from here. Yes, taking out that bandit. Now, I am being shot from elsewhere. How are our forces doing? They're actually having a bit of trouble actually even getting up there by the looks of things, but it seems like the enemy is holding very, very fast in their little, little locations, I guess, their little defensive positions. This is when I wish I had a high-powered sniper rifle. It really is. But, uh, well, this is what I signed up for, and, uh, well, hopefully my armor is going to see to it that I will maybe be able to survive a little bit more. Ah, uh, I might just die here, actually. Run! Oh, oh there, there's a guy! Oh, no, this is not good. Oh, thankfully, thankfully, he's right behind there, and he's a little bit... Oh, my. I just got murdered. I got murdered very, very badly right there. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so yeah, that is a little bit of a preview and a bit of a look at the crazy, crazy AI that has been implemented. And that's pretty awesome. I like it. <laughs> Even though I, I failed, you know, failed in our attempts to actually do something there, I actually like it quite a bit. Anyway, um, I, I guess we can just bounce back from that pretty easily by attacking a couple of bandits. And I'm going to use my medkits when, uh, when we actually get into the battle to heal myself up a little bit.
and uh, yeah we'll see what we can do obviously morale did suffer a little bit there but hopefully upon us actually going in here we should have a little bit of a better time so let's select everyone and just tell them to spread out a little bit here I don't really need to do anything too much here I can just tell them to go ahead and do their own thing while I heal myself up a little bit there's only 24 and most of them are looters so we should have a pretty easy time of things hopefully but yeah that's actually that's actually healed me up enough I don't think I need to do anything more there I should have thrown some grenades in that particular engagement but I've learned that now so obviously you know it's a bit of a learning experience with the new AI I didn't know how they were going to respond you know I knew they were gonna take additional cover but obviously you know didn't know exactly how effective they would end up being and it seems like they're very effective so if you were someone that thought that the AI was a little bit a little bit dumb you know not maybe not able to fully defend itself in sieges uh, well look no further because they have been improved vastly and they are going to be much much more deadly when it comes to siege defenses okay so yeah as you can see right here the enemy has formed a line and we are also forming a line so let's see if I can actually use my grenades against them this actually might be quite effective oh my grenade did not do anything that is kind of disappointing maybe a little bit more now oh my oh my throwing is really bad this game oh well Right, I hope those guys are actually shooting here. I hope everyone's actually shooting. Seems like uh, our new squad needs to retreat a little bit. Seems like most of the enemies are doing a little bit of a weird thing by, by taking some cover. They, they seem to be taking cover or attempting to take cover and that is resulting in their demise which is perfectly fine with me I'm, I'm happy to get that extra little bit of experience like that for example nice level 8 seems like they are uh, attempting to flee actually I do have a machete and I think I'm gonna try and oh should I try and use it no I think that might be a bit too risky there we go we did have two friendly casualties but they're not anything to worry about and oh we're actually getting a couple of first aid kits back for our trouble which is quite nice let's take those take all the rest there and then we can sell that and we're just gonna imprison all I, I wouldn't be surprised if we actually end up with like almost 100% armored marauders eventually because we're just retrieving so many prisoners from these battles okay so let's see what else we can do here I assume that most of our people maybe have leveled up yeah there we go let's go for another spec op here whoa these guys have all leveled up that's fantastic There we go let's put them like that and everyone's morale has gone up a little bit which is quite nice I can of course reward them if I so desire hmm it seems like uh, hmm whoever it is has left the siege there because it obviously was attacked before I got there hmm well I leveled up to eight so let's see what I can do I think I'm just gonna go for another couple of points in marksmanship and I guess I'll just go for some points in machine gun now as well because we are eventually gonna be able to use one of those and I wouldn't be surprised if I can actually use one right now but uh, don't really wanna 
Don't really want to kind of jinx it, I guess, because you never know when you're going to find something that's suitable, because I do know that there's that one machine gun that is very, very nice. Ooh, wait a second. Look at this. But the, yeah, but that one requires 10 marksmanship, so obviously that's not very good. Anyway, look at this. This is a band of armored marauders, which are obviously going to be extremely difficult for us to deal with. However, however, this is a very, very lucrative opportunity because they have three freedom snipers as prisoners. So if we're able to take these and actually, you know, rescue them properly, then I think we're going to be in the money, so to speak, because we do have that quest that requires, I think, five freedom snipers or something like that. And I think we have one at the moment. So if we rescue three, then we should have pretty easy time so let's see what we can do about that and uh, I, I continually forget to add more ammo to my pistol oh never mind apparently I don't have any more pistol ammo oh well I guess that's how it goes but bear in mind that these are armored marauders so we might have some difficulties we might actually lose quite a few of our units in a battle with these fellows so I don't exactly know how it's gonna go but hopefully we'll do okay We haven't really seen anyone just yet. Ah, there they are. Oh, they're actually further away than I thought. That's why I switched to my shotgun. I thought to myself, oh, they're just right round the corner here. I'm going to shoot them. No, it's not going to work. I don't have enough agility, really, to make it worth it for me to charge out there and... Uh, you know, do that. Wow, these guys. Wow, we are really doing a fantastic job of eliminating them. I'm really surprised. I'm actually really surprised because I thought to myself, yeah, these are... These are, you know, armored marauders. They're going to be very difficult for us to deal with. But no, they actually seem to be falling before us relatively easily. I mean, I know we outnumbered them a little bit, but they're actually falling before us easier than some of the other parties that we fought previously that have actually been worse. So I don't exactly know what's going on there, but I guess maybe we, maybe we caught them out a little bit. Maybe they were still moving to their positions. Uh, maybe that's the reason. Just trying to hunt down some of the others. Well, seems like we've eliminated most of them, and I think the last one is probably fleeing in some direction, and that's probably the reason why... Ah, never mind. He's not fleeing. He's just dying. Yes, that's exactly what's happening to him. Anyway, there we go. That was actually really nice. We get some Kevlar body armor right there, and a couple of other pieces of loot, which are actually very lucrative for us. And the greatest thing of all, of course, as I mentioned before, is being able to rescue these freedom snipers absolutely fantastic so that's exactly what we're gonna do there we go and while imprisoned the armored marauder as well maybe we'll be able to get another addition that would be very nice anyway yes we've vastly in increased our strength if I'm unable to obviously hand in the freedom snipers for the quest then I will be able to use them in battle anyway so that will be it for this episode so I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time